All right, guys, go ahead and find the end of your mat. Good. And remember to keep breathing. And I know it is allergy season. So if your breath is uh, coming more from your mouth than your nose, that is okay. So that is just the way it is. Go ahead and roll your shoulders. Good. Find just a pull back, open up, take a deep breath. And exhale, bring the hands up. Inhale, give yourself just a little baby back bend here and exhale into prayer. Good, take another breath up. And soft fold down under your legs, rounded spine here. Good, step back with your right foot. And go ahead and put your foot on the ground, like in a warrior stance. Come all the way up, facing the top of your mat. We're in a warrior one here, but I don't want you to drop really low. I just want you to feel that stretch in the back leg. Good, bring the hands to the floor. Now turn your heel to the ceiling. We're just gonna hold in this long lunge here. You can bring this hand up here if you want to. Good, step back to downward dog. Push through the heels, roll the shoulders up into your pockets. Good. And we're gonna come forward into plank. Core is tight, you're in that tabletop if you're modifying. Inhale as you chaturanga and exhale to your up dog. Roll those shoulders, lift the heart. Good, and part the feet, or part the knees rather, feet together and sit back in your child's pose. Take some deep breaths here. Good, bring yourself back into tabletop and just enjoy cat cow here for a few moments. Get that back moving. Exhale through. Good, tuck your feet and lift to downward dog. When you're ready, go ahead and step forward with your right foot. Turn your left and we'll come up into this warrior stance too, but we're soft here. So your legs, they're not locked out straight like triangle, but they're not super bent either like warrior two. They're just kind of soft here. Feel this opening in the hip. Just take a deep breath. Good, bring your hands to the floor, turn your heel to the ceiling. And we're just gonna sink into this lunge here. You can put your right hand on your right leg or set it down, but focus on pushing your hips down. Good, inhale and step in. Take a breath, standing extension. Exhale and fold. Good, bend your knees, lift your gaze, unhinge. Come all the way up to the top, take a breath. Exhale into prayer. 
Good. Inhale. Exhale. Big, long hinge here. Now we keep the back straight. Just go as far as you can into your standing extension. And then exhale and fold. Feel the hips rise as your crown of your head relaxes down. Good, hands to the floor, step back with your right foot. Good, come up into that warrior one. Take a breath. This time walk your left foot out a little wider. Find a breath and we're gonna sink into that warrior one. So now we're thinking about this leg getting toward the floor parallel. If you need to walk this foot or this back foot so that your stance is longer, you can do that. Make sure this knee doesn't go past the toe. Big breath here. We're going to reach forward over that left leg. Then let the hands come all the way back. Turn your palms out. Hold. Now reach, grab your hands behind you. Come back up into your warrior one and squeeze those shoulder blades. Ah, that's pretty nice for a Monday. Feel your inhale, spread your, your uh, collarbones out. Good, now we're gonna straighten. Inhale up. Good, I want you to start with your hands just way up here on the top of your thighs. And I just want you to start to walk down. So we're all gonna look different in this. We all warm up at different rates too. So you might already be on the floor, but someone else might be way up here, that's okay. But you are gonna stay off of the knee. You can go above and below, but never on. Good, as you inhale, go ahead and take this left foot back toward the center of your mat and lift your back heel and then sink into your lunge. Take a breath, revolve your lunge here, low hips. Swing it forward, bring yourself all the way up into high lunge. I want you to focus on your back leg today, letting the knee drop. Now that might mean you want to take your foot in a little bit so that you can really put the emphasis in this back knee. Feel free to do that today. That's kind of where our focus is. We're kind of focusing on the quads today, the front of the legs. and bring the hands to the floor. Step back to downward dog. Good, lift your left leg into three leg dog. Now, just listen, step forward with your left, turn the right foot, Spiral up to warrior two. Now we're gonna straighten this leg, come up to reverse triangle, but then we're going all the way back down, back to three leg dog. We're gonna do it again. Step forward with your left, spiral up to warrior two. Up to reverse triangle and down to downward dog. Good, come to plank. L, I will show you a modification for that when we get to the other side. Chaturanga to up dog. Good, sit back in your 
Child's pose. Just breathe through your back here. Good, come up to your tabletop, tuck your feet, and lift to your downward dog. Good, step forward with your right leg. Turn your back foot. Now we're gonna take this right leg out wider, take a breath, and we sink into our warrior one. So think of being centered. I'm not going forward. And this hamstring here, I wanna to try to drop that parallel to the floor. Strong legs here, strong core. Notice my shoulders are over my hips. So I'm not forward. And even when I reach forward here, I keep my hips down. So I'm not doing this where I'm pushing my hips back. Reach over. You can brace yourself by putting one hand on the leg if you need to. Reach back, hold. Should feel like most of the weight is now in that front leg. That's the whole point. Grab behind you, unhinge, open up the shoulders. Good, and we're gonna straighten. Take a deep breath. And now we just begin to hinge over. Take your time working into the leg, the hamstring. Don't assume that you're gonna go to the same spot. You may stop at a different spot. Good, from here, your left hand's on the floor. Turn your left heel to the ceiling, drop into your hip, and enjoy that revolve lunge. Good, now from here, we're gonna step back, but L, I want you to just drop your knee to the floor. You're gonna be in a kneeling lunge here to your three leg dog with your right leg up. Good, so El, we're just gonna be in this kneeling lunge. Everyone together, we're gonna take a breath, step forward with your right leg, turn your left leg and come into your warrior two. So El, we know we open up into our kneeling warrior two here. Then reverse triangle. And L, we're gonna put our hands on the floor and just pull back into our hamstring here. You can stay up here as well if you need to. Good, hands to the floor, step back to downward dog. L, if you'd like to come to tabletop here, you can. Or if you just wanna stay in a kneeling lunge, you can do that as well. Everyone step forward with your right foot and open up, warrior two. Good, inhale and reverse triangle. Good, come all the way down. And we're all gonna join together in this long lunge here. Step in, find your standing extension. 
Exhale and find your fold, whatever that looks like today. Bend your knees and unhinge. Roll your shoulders. Good. Okay, now we're going to take everything that we just did and multiply it. So instead of doing everything once, right, we are going to do everything three times. All right, so let's move. Inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold. Good, step back with your right foot, turn it to the side, walk your foot to the left side of your mat or go to kneeling. And we're coming up here into our warrior one. You can substitute this with a kneeling lunge if you want to. Inhale, straighten the leg, dive over that front leg into intense side stretch. Good, inhale as you turn to a lunge and sink, and then exhale and revolve. And you can do a kneeling revolve lunge as well. Both hands go to the floor, left foot up. Good, now step forward with your left, turn it, come back up to warrior one. So not to warrior two yet. Good, here we go. Reach forward, press into that front leg, reach back, squeeze and unhinge. Reach up, reach forward, reach back, unhinge. Reach up, reach forward, reach back, and unhinge. Straighten, and over we go. Option here, if you wanna leave your hands behind you and lift them up, you can, or take them back down to the floor. Put your hands on the floor and turn to your revolve lunge again. Hand to the floor, go to three leg dog. Now step forward again, this time warrior two. So lots of movement here, slow down if you need to. Here we go, warrior two. Up to reverse triangle, cartwheel to the floor, three leg dog. Step forward again, warrior two, reverse triangle, cartwheel to the floor, three leg dog. One more time, step forward, and come up, you should feel like you can get deeper here. Reverse triangle, cartwheel down, and just downward dog. And find your plank, good job. Chaturanga to up dog. Feel like that heart rate is up, yeah? Go ahead and push back into your child's pose. Good, now from your child's pose, you're gonna drop your elbows to the floor. Then we're gonna go into an elbow hover or a plank. Now you can plank on your knees or you can plank straight legged, but depending on which one you are, down or up, 
you'll go in the opposite direction. Just listen to me, you'll know what I mean. So my knees are down right now. So I'm gonna alternate my legs. So my, my feet are tucked. So I'm gonna go right up, right down, left up, left down, right? If I'm up, then I go right down and up, left down and up. So pick one you're gonna do. Pull your shoulders down, here we go, right. And then lift and switch. I'm not gonna say up or down because you might be opposite. Good, move left and up. Move right and up, move left and up. You can also be up here in tabletop if you had to be. We're squeezing the quads here, right? And left, one more on each side, right? And left, go ahead and push yourself back. Drop your knees, come up to your shins. Put your hands on your hips, push your hips forward. And we're just stretching through the quads here. Good job. Bring your hands to the floor. And now we're gonna do a soft downward dog. So a soft downward dog, I don't bend, I don't uh, straighten my legs all the way. I'm just kind of here. My hips are high, legs are bent. And I'm just gonna walk to the top of my mat. Inhale, standing extension. Exhale and fold. Good, bend your knees and unhinge. Well done. All right, we are going on to the other side. Yeah, I hope you remembered you had two sides. <laughs> Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Good, hands to the floor. Step back with your left leg, walk your right one wide, come up to your warrior two. I'm sorry, warrior one. This is just our practice one. Hands to the floor, straighten out that leg, walk down your leg. You may not get to the floor. And we are gonna bring that right or left hand to the floor and revolve your lunge. Both hands to the floor. Step back to downward dog. Good, now right leg forward again. Wide stance here, turn that left leg. Come up to your warrior one. Good, think about this hamstring. Be strong through that whole foot. Here we go, inhale forward. Exhale, inhale and squeeze back. Exhale up. Inhale, reach forward. Reach back. Exhale and up. Reach forward. Exhale. Inhale and grab. Exhale and unhinge. Good, straighten your leg. And then you've got your choice here. You can reach for the floor or keep the hands behind you. Put left hand to the floor. Revolve that lunge again. We're gonna go to our three leg dog. Drop the knee here if you want to. And lift your right leg into three leg dog. And here's our warrior two sequence. Here we go. Step forward right, turn up to warrior two, reverse triangle, cartwheel down, warrior three, or warrior three, three leg dog. <laughs> Step forward, warrior two, reverse triangle, 
and cartwheel down. Three leg dog. Step forward. Come up, warrior two, and reverse triangle. And cartwheel down. Just regular downward dog. And come to plank. Chaturanga to up dog. Or take that cow position. Catch your breath here. <sighs> Sit back, child's pose. All right, and we're going to come forward now on our elbows. You can, if you need to, to pick the straight arm version, because you can do the same thing, right? All right, this time, we're going to start with the left. So pick where you're going to be. And remember, we might be going opposite. That's okay. Here we go. Left, then back, and then right and then back, left, and then back, and then right, and then back. Good, keep going. It's a little bit different than what we normally do. We might normally do left, left, right, right, or left, right, left, right. We're actually doing left, left, right, and right. Good, we're gonna do Three more. Keep your breath moving. Keep your hips down. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Good. Drop your knees. Walk back wherever you're at. And come up. And open up. So hopefully you felt that in your legs, not just your core, but awesome if you felt it in your core as well. If you didn't feel it in your core because you're not sure if you have a core anymore, I promise you, you do. <laughs> Good job, hands to the floor. Good, bend your knees. And we're gonna do that soft downward dog. So I'm just lifting here with a soft knee, hips are still up. Good, and walk to the top of your mat. Good, inhale, standing extension. Exhale and fold. Boom. Good, bend your knees, unhinge, big breath up. And exhale down, good job. All right, let's change our movement just a little bit. Go ahead and take a breath, stand tall, find all four corners of that left foot on the floor, lift your right foot into single leg stand. Now, if you can get your knee up to hip height, great. But it's okay if you can't. Good. Now we're going to extend. Bring it in. Now watch. I'm going to cross. Sit down into my hips. So my hips are going back. So this left knee still does not go over my toes. And then I'm going to reset all the way down. Lift your right, pick it away, bring it in, cross it and sit. Woo. 
and you may lose your balance. <laughs> lift, reset. Lift your right, extend, bring it in, sit. Reset. Good. Lift it up. Extend. Bring it in. And sit. Lift. And reset. You should be feeling your left leg more than your right. Yeah? Lift your right. And extend. Bring it in and sit, reset. You have one more, lift it up, extend, bring it in and sit. Lift and reset. Ah, oh, good, shake that out. Good, take a breath. Hinge and fold. Good, now relax your right leg. So all I did was bend my knee. Leave your right hand on the floor or maybe you're way up here at the hip, that's fine. I want you to kick this hip out. Yep. And then we're gonna open to the left. You should feel that in the hip we just worked. Kitty. Good. And walk back to downward dog. Lift your left leg into three leg dog. Step forward all the way up with that left leg. Line up your feet. Come up. The warrior two. Good. We're just gonna long hold this here. Find an inhale where you can straighten both legs. Now reach out past your left leg, push your right hip to the ceiling, long opening into triangle here. First triangle that we've done, so really savor this. Breathe into that space at the top there between your rib and your hips. You don't have to look at the ceiling. Just make sure you're pulling open through that top shoulder. Your palm is facing in the direction that you are looking. So we're not twisting the shoulder backward. Good job. Bring it back to a lunge. Lift that left leg again into three leg dog. And now we're gonna bring the left leg under us for pigeons. So. Choose the 90-90 stretch option or the hip option, but try to stretch out your leg and not have it bent. See, this is the 90-90 option where my leg is bent behind me. If you can, straighten that leg. So even though I'm on my hip, I am pushing my right hip, my back hip, trying to push it toward parallel with the top of my mat. Enjoy this pigeon here. Breathe into what you feel. Stop where you need to. Rather than going to your deepest point, stop where you first feel it. Take a moment or two to breathe there, then go past.
And our last few moments here, take some long, deep breaths. But let them go all the way down into your back. Good, walk yourself up. And now just take that back leg around to the front. And I want you to actually take it in front. So we've got the right leg in front here in easy pose. You can, if you'd like to, bring your right leg on top for half lotus. But either way, the right leg is here in the lead. So we're just gonna release the spine here. Just moving around our spine with our ribs. And I know the ribs are attached in the back, but I want you to imagine that your ribs are like a maypole and you're just circling your spine here. I don't care which direction you go in, but I do care that you keep your head still, keep that book on your head, not going too fast. Good, slow down, change directions. Good, find yourself slowing. Bring the hands into prayer. Take a breath up. Now turn toward your right knee. So that's the leg that's in front. And exhale. Keep both hips on the floor, but just bow over this right side here. I am okay if your chin tucks, as long as you're not uh, squeezing your chin to your chest. If you just kind of feel like you're hanging, perfect. and walk back center, good. Now from here, we're gonna go back to our uh, standing fold. So we have lots of options. You can go to tabletop, back to the soft downward dog, walk it in. You can take a knee and come up. You can also just pitch yourself forward from here, unwind your legs, and then lift, and just take your time getting into your fold. So however you'd like to do that. Good, lift your gaze and unhinge. Roll your shoulders. Good job. Now the good news is we have one more cycle to go and then we're staying on the floor. Bad news is we have one more cycle to go. <laughs> so oh, that's not bad news, that's good news, right? Inhale up, find center. And we've got the other side. So now you're using your left leg. Lift into single leg stand and extend. Squeeze this quad, pull it in and cross and then sink. Hips go back. Reset. Lift, extend. Bring it in, cross, and sink. And reset. Lift, extend. Bring it in and cross. 
and sit. And reset. Lift, extend, bring it in and cross, and sit. And up, you have two more. Lift, extend, bring it in, cross, and sit. Reset, Whew. last one, lift, extend, bring it in, cross, and sit, and lift, reset, shake that out, oh, good, and just hinge over and fold. Soften your left leg. It's okay if you're up here too. And you're gonna turn to your right. So when you're ready, come back to center and you're just gonna step back with your left leg and come up into warrior two. Nice long hold here. Sink into that front leg, squeeze through both, warrior two. Straighten your legs, squeeze those legs, push the left hip away and exhale into your triangle. Remember that bottom hand is light. Put it all into your legs and let your breath open up that space between the ribs and the hips. Good, and turn. Good, take your right leg to three leg dog or just downward dog. And now we're gonna bring that leg under us. For our pigeon. So modifying to the hip. Notice I'm pressing this leg into the back and I'm pushing this hip around. Even better if you can be off of your hips. I used to be able to do that, but uh, I can still, but it's not good for my knees. So you do what's good for you. We made it to the floor. Breathe. Good, come up and let's take your left leg around now. And now the left leg is the lead. So the left one is gonna be in front 
or on top for half lotus. And remember, just because you were in half lotus on the other side or were not, doesn't mean you can't do something different on this side. Often our hips and our knees are different on either side. Good, so just find your posture here. And when you're ready, begin that spinal release here. Most of you are old enough, slow down, and then begin to circle the other, day, other way. Most of you are old enough to remember a slinky. And I like to picture like my spine is that slinky and I'm holding it on either end and I'm just gently creating this circle with the slinky in the middle. That's what we're doing. Next week, we'll simulate the slinky going downstairs. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Take a breath in the center. So we're going over your lead leg. So that's over your left. Relax your neck. Look, even if you have to stay way up tall and just relax into the neck, that's okay. Make sure that you're pushing the opposite hip down. So that should be your right one. Go ahead and sit back to the center. And this time, take those legs out straight. And rather than a standing fold, we're gonna walk into a seated fold. So just find your, your nice tall spine here. Walk your sit bones toward the back of the mat, flex your feet. Remember, you can just stay up here, but take a breath. You can reach if you want to. I'm just gonna walk my hands. Good, remember it's not about where your hands reach. So I know a lot of people who can reach their feet, but what they do is they curl their spine. And so they tense everything up by doing this. It's really not worth it. Keep yourself straight and just get to your ankles. That's fine. The main thing is that you're feeling this stretch. If you're pushing down through your legs, you should feel this in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. You should also feel that tension and that support happening in the top of your legs, the quads. And of course, you're gonna feel this in your lower back as well. Good, go ahead and we're gonna come down. Take your feet about the width of your mat. Good. Now we're gonna do that windshield wiper, but we're gonna add a bridge with it. So take a breath, exhale, lift your bridge. Good, push that through the hip, feel that in the hip flexors. Now inhale as you lower all the way down and exhale your knees to the left. Come back to the center. Back up into a bridge. Lower down and exhale your knees to the right. Okay. Come back to the center. Let's do it again. Up we go center bridge. Lower down, big inhale. Let it out like a sigh, drop to your left. Mm -hmm. And come center, lift, drop, and go to your right. And come center, 
and just let your knees fall together. Beginning to move into our rest phase. If you want to just stay in this position, you can, or move into another one. I want you to scan your body today, just on your own, starting at your feet. Stopping to take a breath in every joint. Just take some time to notice if there's any tension that needs to be released. With releasing tension, I like to imagine ripples on the water. So like a stone dropping into that point of tension and that tension releasing. Like those, like those perfect circles coming off of from that stone dropping in the water. Just let your thoughts come and go, just like clouds passing by in the sky. The more you tell yourself to not think, the more you will think. So just let it happen. Your thoughts are just a part of this moment. But nothing that you're hanging on to. And begin feeling your body in contact with the floor. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Good, and when you're ready, join me seated. And we're just gonna roll our shoulders today. 
Good. Look to the right. Look to the left. And now just take your head up and over and up and over. Good. Take a big breath. Bring the hands into your heart center. And you guys, God bless you. Namaste. Have a great week. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you hopefully on Friday. That was a great 